I know you were a teacher. Indeed, I did learn that the city DPW is working with a contractor to make sure we as drivers really see and realize that we're in one of those areas surrounding a school and they can do that with some paint and some extra signs. Now, a contractor was brought on board for $850,000 to paint the very visible school text on streets passing by and around schools and they added those brighter striped crosswalks right there at key intersections where kids may be walking. And in some areas they have those digital readout signs or other signs to warn you about your speed. Now, the speed limit is 20 miles per hour in those designated areas. As for the street painting work, the DPW commissioner gave us some idea of the scope of the project, which they aim to have completed by the winter. 2021, we did uh, a little over 40 schools across the city focusing on main roads. Uh, this year, we uh, have the funding uh, to do all of the schools within, our, with, within the city. That's over 100 schools, public, charter, uh, parochial, uh, that will have crosswalk striping and the word school printed uh, on, the, on the pavement uh, to warn motorists. They say they're also in touch with the school district and if administrators, teachers or parents have major concerns about speed on adjacent streets, additional traffic calming or slowing measures like sidewalk bump outs at intersections to narrow streets can also be added in some cases. All right, I hate to bring up an unpleasant memory, but the school safety zone enhancement was also done after the city had, remember this, that messy experiment last year with the school zone speed cameras, which caused people to get all those tickets for going over 50 miles per hour. They are gone, and hopefully these more visible reminders will help kids keep kids safe. Remember to watch out for, as well for those school buses, which may slow traffic near schools as well come Tuesday and going on through the weeks. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.